Morning everybody. Right then, I've moved on to the next part of my boiler. Uh, come in my workshop this morning and uh, I've been busy making these stays. Um, it's 3 sixteenths diameter uh, phosphor bronze rod and there's um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, nine stays to make. Two of these long ones uh, two of those six and fifteen sixteenths long, two of those at six and five eighths long, and then three at, uh, I think they're inch and five eighths. Uh, the 2BA, straightforward job, just put them in my lathe and uh, run, die down them. So there my stays finished. And uh, I've also moved on to making this uh, strap to join the outer firebox together and the regulator pad. That's all marked out ready now. Just to explain, explain quickly where they go. So regulator pad is going to fit on top of the boiler there. Obviously to fit my regulator too. And this strap's going to fit on the bottom of this joint here and be riveted in there ready for silver soldering. So they just want drilling now for, for rivet short screws. Now, um, I was going to use rivets, but I've decided to use phosphor bronze screws. I've scoured the internet and I can't find any phosphor bronze 6BA countersunk screws. I can find brass, but but brass is no good. Um, so I'm setting two and I'm, I'm making some of these, you can see how small they are. They're quarter long, quarter of an inch long, 6BA with a countersunk head. Um, I think I've made about 16 up to now and I've got 32 to make it's not taking me too long and I'll I'll take you over to Marford lathe and show you how I'm, make, how I'm making them it's straightforward really I think I've got 30 to make and I've done 16 uh, so I'm going to continue then and we'll move on to Marford lathe and continue with them screws I'm over on my Myford now. Uh, I'm just going to run through procedure for making one of these uh, tiny screws. Um, and I'm making them out of phosphor bronze. And just as an example of size, what I'm making them is compare that with that 50 pence, and you'll get a sense of the scale of what I'm doing. If I can hold it. So. I'm making uh, approximately 30 of them and I'm doing it in uh, with just a couple of tools and I'll uh, I'll just run through procedure with you now I'll leave you'll have to excuse noise at lathe I'm afraid because it's right off at motor where I'm filming
Right, so I've turned it down to its uh, outside diameter, 0 0.110. Uh, I'm just going to put the thread on now, but I'm doing, having to do this manually with me uh, with me dial holder. And again I'm doing these with no lubrication because I don't want to uh, contaminate the silver soldering. So I've put, I've done the diameter and the uh, angle of the head 60 degrees with just with one, with one tool, set it in angle like that to do it all in one operation. I've threaded it with die holder and a 6BA die and I've just got to part it off now to length and that's basically it. and they're a quarter of an inch long on, on thread. That's it. Can't even go to that with my fingers. Just got to take that to uh, face that uh, head up and just put a slot in it now. Like so. And then just for the next one, pull my material out to, to length. Not too far because of overhang, you don't want to put too much force on a small bar. Take my parting tool out, put my finishing tool in.
That's it. Just another oh, 12 to make, I think. So I've got all my screws made now. Um, I've just got to face them off or file them with the, with, with the parting off tools, left a little fraction on. Put a very minute junior hacksaw blade cut just to get my screwdriver in and then they're ready for being used and I don't know if I explained how I was going to use them I'm using them instead of uh, rivets and what they're for they're for on the uh, I'll just have to zoom out a little bit I think I think you can just see on all the flanges here where where each item uh, intersects with each with each other, if that's the right word. Uh, I've just got to put three or four of them rivets or screws in into all each flange uh, on all the items. So. It works out there's about 30 screws needed and then I've, there's a few extra just to put this uh, this strap on here where I'm going to join that 8 inch tool together. Uh, they don't actually do anything once, once it's silver soldered, it's just to hold everything in place while you're ready for silver soldering. And then once the once they're all silver soldered over, it's the silver solder that does all the work. So it's basically just to hold everything in place and keep everything lined up while you're getting ready for silver soldering in all these flanges. Same with front. It'll want three or four in front here, etc. etc. 